40. Stable at step three. A minus 30 seconds. 28. 25. Status Go check. Go Centaur. Go OA7. 20. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go for main engine start, 1, 0, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. Our roll program has begun. Body rates look good. Our engine continues to look very good. Pump speeds and jerk pressures in band. begun the zero angle attack phase of flight. Temperatures look good, body rates are right down the middle. Already 180 performance continues to be normal. through the sound barrier. Max Q, body rates continue to look very good at this point in flight. Vehicle hitting maximum dynamic Booster pressure. Booster has throttled back, right on schedule, signatures look good. Engine throttle back going through Max Q as customary. Range distance is five and a half miles, current velocity is 1,929 miles per hour. Range track shows good progress right down the middle of the corridor. Booster engine performance continues to look very good at this point. EU control is near nominal. Body rates look good. Steering has been enabled at this point. Body rates look good. The vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. Two and a half minutes of the flight. Steering has begun. Body rates look good. And we've fired the RCS pyro valve. That system is now pressurizing the flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 29 miles. Downrange distance, 39 miles. Current velocity, 4,325 miles per hour. Booster has begun to throttle to maintain three and a half G's. Closed loop steering has begun. Body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Extra ratio looks good. Loose phase chill down has begun. And loose phase chill down has completed. Went up on Biko momentarily. And we have Biko. 
Doom shutdown looks good. We have stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Payload for frame jettison has occurred. Looks like a clean step. Centaur steering has been enabled. Body rates look good. Data now coming in from the New Hampshire tracking station. Miles downrange distance, 317 miles. Current velocity, 10,050 miles per hour. Still data coming in from the Cape as well. Centaur PU is requesting an oxidizer rich condition at this point. Chamber pressures, injector, uh, I'm sorry, lox pump discharge and venturi are within band. Hydrogen system line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Ready. And we have a Quick report of Atlas first stage performance. It was plus 106 pounds of PE or 0.33 sigma high. We have begun seeing our thermal conditioning fairings on the RCS. Now controlling near nominal mixture ratio also. Engine response looks good. Set MR. Centaur now steering and powering the rocket. Centaur is completing the dogleg maneuver. Body rates are now controlling down the middle. Dogleg is complete. And Centauri has begun to roll to optimize telemetry. Are all 10 chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all look good? Seven minutes into the flight now. Centaur currently is flying at an altitude of 191 miles. Downrange distance is 685 miles. Current velocity, 10,538 miles per hour. This first burn of Centaur is scheduled for 13 minutes and 42 seconds in duration. All systems continue to look very good at this point. Continuing to observe our thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Signatures look normal. Centaur has completed the roll to optimize telemetry. Going right down the middle at this point. Range track shows good progress down the expected corridor. About another 10 minutes on the Centaur burn. Centaur cuts off at 18 minutes into the flight. We're just over Centaur eight. Centaur limiting has completed. Now actively controlling MR 